think about it as the quality of the map is like as good as the process that was used for it. So sometimes people will, like there'll be one person working in Kumu creating one of these maps, right? And that map is basically as good as that person's knowledge, experiences, the different data sources and inputs that they're using. When done well, I think there's a pretty um, explicit collaborative process, right? That like people are doing workshops, they're inviting people from like all different aspects of the system. They're doing that, they're then sharing it back out and kind of going through loops. They'll have a draft map, they'll take that to particular communities, they'll ask questions around things like, how well does this represent your experience of this particular problem? What might be missing? And so there's a whole set of ways that you can build um, kind of more robustness around that. And and yeah, and there's nothing that we do as Kumu necessarily to be able to make sure that's like a high quality map, right? We're really more around tool provider and allowing people to create these effective visualizations that include more depth and understanding. And I think our differentiator is we allow a lot more context to be included. So normally when you create that map, it's kind of hard to understand if you weren't involved in the process, but with Kumu, you can add a lot more depth behind. This is why a particular connection is here. This is the research that went into it. You might even include three like user stories that are examples of where this connection came to life. And so there's a lot that's possible there. To your point around the theory of change, a lot of people would frame it as like a more complexity aware theory of change. That's sometimes what people um, kind of use as an interim step towards the systems map. It certainly has been used in a number of contexts, right? Like there's some maps around um, the kind of quality and effectiveness of the US democracy that were like used and presented um, in the Senate and the House and with certain members to then be able to say, hey, here's how we're looking at it. And so there's times where that is used Right, and is actually meant to try to shift people's awareness to then show up in different ways based on being exposed to the map. And I'd say other times it's a little bit more internal as a tool to develop strategy and then like create plans based on that strategy. And so I think it, it, some of it depends and you're probably doing a mix mixture of both. So 